Hi y'all, it's Caroline. One of my last cards I posted got a lot of great comments, okay, at least five, on the use of inexpensive foam and vinyl to make the title of the card really pop out. So in today's video, it's basically a tutorial on how to do this. And just wait till the very end and you'll also see what not to do, okay? And please, subscribe. That would be great. Thanks. Okay, let's get started. What I have done is taken some inexpensive vinyl. It, this was the Paper Studio brand from Hobby Lobby and attached it to a piece of fun foam, cut to size. Then I took some Cricut vinyl, the removable kind, and attached it to the fun foam. And I'm just running it through my Vagabond what I'm using are the Everyday Greetings, Happy Birthday, from the Stamps of Life. I got this set on the last HSN craft day. And as you can see, this machine and any machine that I've used, which is both the Marquee and also the Anna Griffin um, Empress, it works perfectly every single time. There's no difference in machines but it cuts all the way through with one pass. The vinyl is basically pushed into the foam so there's no ragged edges. And I'm gonna do this in real time so you can see how easily this all pulls away. Now you just um, basically have to work the letters out, just bending the foam and all I'm doing is popping out those inside of the letters with my fingers, fingernails. I've used lots of different colors of vinyl and um, the Cricut vinyl is beautiful on these cards. That's why I picked this holographic color. And as you can see, this it just lifts away. It took less than 45 seconds for me to de-weed this happy birthday. I like this black. It's not too glossy. but it has just enough shine to really make those letters stand out. It's semi-matte, I guess, and looks really beautiful against this shadow dye. Earlier I took a piece of colored vinyl and put it on foam and did not put foam on the happy birthday and attached it and it just doesn't have the same impact. I'll still use it but I'm really happy with this that I just did. Now here I'm taking Anna Griffin cut Anna Griffin cut and embossed die and ran that complete folder through my marquee and it was there was no problem at all. I'm just sanding this coordination's um, cardstock, the impression, the impression a little because it is embossed, and just going to do some gluing and speed this part up. But you don't need an extra folder when you use this. And a Griffin embossing folder because it is the folder. You just place the paper inside and run it through just like you would with any diamond press die. Not a problem. If you like these videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.
Okay, here I'm just finishing up the card. I have these 3D embellishments that I got from um, an Echo Park collection, birthday collection that I've had. And I have an A2 size card base. And it is easier to attach a front to attach a front before the card is folded. That way it doesn't pop up. And I just need to add one more little hat. Do y'all have a lot of stickers hanging around or a drawer full of them? I know I've de-stashed my sticker collection over and over again, but they seem to come back to me, whether it's in collections or um, that I'm going to use it someday stash, and it's not really uh, going away anytime soon. Anyway, I'm using some Nouveau white glue, and that's to get in all those little impressions from the embossed side. And I'll just place a stamp positioner block on top to let this dry really thoroughly. Then I'll just add a few more touches to this card. The star of the show is that happy birthday on that holographic shadow layer, which are both popped up with that inexpensive fun foam. It really goes a long way. I'm using the We Are Memories Jewel Picker, and it's got this gummy gray, kind of like an eraser end, that picks up and releases those sequins really easily. This will be a fun card for someone to receive. I think if the title is not too intricate, this should work with just about anything. Okay, well, that being said, there is one thing I don't recommend, and that is getting a die that is too intricate. And here we go. I ran one of these um, Tim Holtz dies through my machine. I had put some holographic vinyl on top of a piece of foam, ran it through my Vagabond, and there must be a hun there are hundreds of little cutouts, and I'm just not going to weed this. I think it would have been easier if I just ran it, you know, with regular cardstock and tapped it on the table, and it would all pop out. But nope, don't do that. So here are some finished cards. Thanks for watching.